Operation Safe Space is underway. Altoona officials say it holds landlords accountable when it comes to making their properties meet certain living standards. Stoker Rizork heard from city officials about what they say would lead to people without a place to live. He says the story, excuse me, he has the story for us right now. Stoker. <laughs> Hello, Sean. City officials say a handful of Altoona landlords are not meeting the requirements necessary to safely house tenants in homes. They say a subcommittee created between them and local homeless organizations is aimed in making sure that tenants have a place to stay during maintenance operations. These folks are not being treated with dignity and respect whatsoever. The first house in Altoona's Operation Safe Space being marked less than a month ago. Notice signs posted on its front door letting landlords know it's time to get some structural issues fixed. Reports include raw sewage in the basement, rats and mice regularly visible, peeling plaster off the walls, plus water and electrical issues. It's just disgusting behavior on these landlords' parts. and. Uh, we're fed up with it and we're, we're dealing with it now. Altoona Mayor Matt Pacifico describing conditions as deplorable. He see if these circumstances are worth pressing criminal charges against the landlords. Action Program Director Christine Zernick says without action taken, people would be left sleeping on the streets while homes are being repaired. We are not going to allow red tagged inhabitable properties be available to people to live in because it's not suitable for them. Codes and Inspections Director Rebecca Brown says tenants are being temporarily housed while issues are fixed. We wanted to make sure that the occupants were removed from that structure knowing that the violations were present and they weren't going to be corrected in any kind of short time period. We wanted to make sure that they were relocated to safe and secure housing. There comes a time when you know you just have to say enough is enough and do something or we're going to come in here and remove these people from your homes and, and we're going to put you out of business for being a bad landlord. And officials say they tag around two to four houses in Altoona each month, but the issue of accommodations not being made is still growing. Reporting live in Cambria County, Stoker Wise, Oryx 6 News.